Okay, in this video what we're going to focus on is calculating out the speed of a cylinder. Now we're going to start off with one of two assumptions. One, there's essentially no load on the cylinder. Or, if you have a varying load, that you have a pressure compensated flow control valve that will compensate for any variations in the load. Okay? So, in this video, we're going to assume that we have 8 gallons per minute being read here going into the cylinder. Okay? And we have a 4 inch diameter piston on the cylinder that we are attempting to control. So the formula to calculate out the speed in inches per minute is gallons per minute times 231 divided by the area of the piston. Okay? Now, when you look at this, the, the point of turning, taking a gallons per minute multiplied by 231 is to convert that back to volume. Okay? So we're going back from capacity to volume. And that's what this formula does. And then our area of our piston is given here, but it's given in diameter. So the first thing we would have to do before I start to plug everything in is, is to convert this to area. Now I have some other videos on that, but I'll run you through the formula really quick. It's just going to be the uh, area squared, which is 4, times 0.7854. Okay, that would give us 12.57 inches squared. So this is what would get plugged into this area right here in this formula. So let's go ahead and apply this and see what we come up with. So we have 8 gallons times 231 divided by 12.57. Okay. And this would give us the answer in inches per minute. So, type this into your calculator, and you should come up with 147.02 inches per minute. Okay? Now, you may be saying, what if I need this in feet per minute? It's hard to imagine what 147 inches are. I can do this a little bit better in feet. No problem. There's two ways to do that. One, you could divide this answer by 12, and that would come up with 12.25 feet per minute. Or you could run it through this formula here. 8 times 19.25 divided by, again, the area, which was 12.57. So this answer would still come out to be 12.125 feet per minute. And this is how you calculate it out. Now it's really nice if they give you the area, but if not, you're going to want to run them through this formula. Okay, and again, I have another video on that if you want, if you want to learn how to convert diameter over to area. But I hope this is just a real quick introduction into cylinder speed, and I hope this helps. Thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe.